Yes, my name is Chim Diajero and I'm with uh, Obashi so Chinamere. Yeah, so we're here at his construction site and it looks quite, you know, massive. This is uh, about six floors, right? Yeah, sure, yeah. It's, yeah it's six, six floors, floors. Yeah. apartment building. Yeah, it's an apartment, two bedroom apartment with one boys' quarters, yeah. So I'm here with him because I'm also very interested in this wonderful structure and also the style of construction and all that. We're going to look at different topics today and one of the things we're going to touch will be uh, we'll start from the substructure which is the foundation, you know, the construction processes involved, the raw materials, the structural um, systems used, the slab, the lintels, and uh, different details that were involved in this process. So it's going to guide us through all of that. And I hope, you know, it's going to be innovative for you guys so that you guys can you know, learn from this video. Yes. So um, what kind of foundation system was used for this structure? Okay, so for the substructure, the type of foundation used is the strip foundation and the depth of the foundation is four meters so i noticed that we, you, that you guys went for the frame frame construction basically the post and beams or i would say columns and beams yeah so yeah, yeah. what um, was the inspiration behind this behind using the columns and beams okay uh the inspiration behind it was this like when you use this kind of construction, that's a structural framework construction. Like you tend to move your structure to any certain. It's flexible, like it's flexible. What you need to know, you need to know where your um, columns are. It's very much flexible. Unlike when you start with your block work at the, the end of the day, work. you want to change positions. Yeah. And so that's it. So that was one of the inspiration. And it's a little quite faster. Yeah, it's a little quite faster. In the sense, it's going to be like a grid line to guide you. And all yeah, you have to do your partition, partition walls, walls and, and all that. Yeah. yeah, you don't really need more stress. Cool. I wish I wish a lot of people could adopt this system. Um, now, um, actually, the system is really good because when it comes to this system, you need to be very, very much careful in your dimension and like mm -hmm. yeah, in your measurements. You need to be very, very careful because any slight error it gets to affect every other construction stage. True. Yeah. True. True. So, how many floors are we dealing with here? Oh, uh, we're dealing with that's five floors, including the paint floor. That's in all six. That's uh, six floors. Yeah. Wow. That means you guys have an elevator. Yeah, yeah sure. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Should be by, an elevator. By, by standard, it says uh, after every three floors, right? After <laughs> three floors, yeah. You there must have be an elevator. Yeah, there should be an elevator. Yeah. Mm, that's uh, nice. Should, we need to put that because definitely climb it off here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh well, like honestly, for like this year, now I can even count how many times I've gone for workouts because only climbing off here often. Oh, I swear, is enough for when, I, for when I when I came up here, I know. <laughs> I, I saw you are pretty like. I was pretty <laughs> <laughs> so it's no one. <laughs> it's no one. So. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's you, you know in, in building standards you must have a mix of both the elevators and the stairs and the stairs. Yeah, sure, definitely. In case of fire, fire incident and, and, yeah, and all that. Sure, and then you also um, have sometimes you have, um you don't always expect like we're in Nigeria, you don't always expect 24 hours light. Mm -hmm. That should be like I can't guarantee you that but here you know I think once we are done, we are trying to guarantee in the sense we have Considering bringing up solar and all that, solar, because, yeah. you know, the more advanced we can't be hoping on Nepal and other, but even at that, a staircase is needed here. Then, what kind of slab system was used here? Okay, uh, we made use of rib slab. Yeah, it was rib slab that we used. Nice. Yeah, we consider use slab because considering the amount of structures we are erected and the numbers of floors. So uh, we didn't really want much of a dead load on our structure. So that was why we went with rib slab and on the rib slab we made use of police train. I know most of you must have come across the word police train and all that. Mm -hmm. And most of you will be like, ah, what's police train? Like, wait, is it a police train? I like, know like you normally get on your electronics when you get a television. That's time. Yeah, <laughs> definitely that's the police train I'm talking about. Yeah. But you guys should not be scared because police train like yeah, a lot of research has been done about it. Um and it's very quite effective when it comes to construction. Yeah. It's very good. Um, like I said, our structure is a high-rise building, so we didn't really want much dead load. So the police train helped us to reduce the dead load. And if you see the 
volume of concrete we are casting on our slab is not really a choice play so it saves the cost and also saves mm -hmm. in terms of the dead load exactly yeah that's what a lot of buildings a lot of construction now these days is more it's mostly focused on light yeah. construction no because imagine having all that load <laughs> on you know, doing doing a solid slab, slab on how many floors six floors, floors seven floors <laughs> then you have to consider some of the dead load like your television your mm -hmm. bed and mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. then adding a life load bro exactly. plus your roof <laughs> mm. so you can say at the end of the day you, you just overloaded your building yeah which we were on to something else in nature in future day. yeah true yeah true i've i've seen where we've We've used rib slab with uh, rib blocks. Yeah, sure, definitely. That's the more block. common. Mm, more common. People know yeah, about. some people also use bricks too. Yeah, bricks. Yeah. So you can. I think you can literally use any material. You can use any literally, material. as long as it's it's fireproof and yeah, it's, it's fireproof safe. and the calculation was done properly. Yeah, yeah that's it. As long as it's light and it's just because it, uh, literally, it's not really doing anything. No, it's just trying it's to just, cover the void just pulling, to just create covering. a partition between exactly. the ground floor and the upper floor. Exactly. That's just this. Exactly. Yeah. When it comes to construction, people tend to neglect the structural engineers. Mm -hmm. That's why I always tell them, like, every construction stage and before you embark in the construction, you need to put some professionals for them to educate you on some things to yeah. do and all that. Because if you should meet a layman now, put it straight, no more. Bro, the guy is running off. He will, he will be like, car, this guy was for my house. So I believe they should get some structural engineers to run the calculation and tell them what's best for the construction. Yeah. I think the the point of the whole thing here is engage all the professionals. Yeah, sure, definitely. Engage all the professionals. Yeah. Definitely. Don't try to go cheap. <laughs> Don't if, go if, cheap, if, bro. If not, if not for anything, they would actually advise you on the best way to still build yeah um, according to your budgets and according orders. to your budgets it's fine yeah effectively just effective design so um okay let's talk about the lintels okay um i noticed you use a lot of precast lintels here. yeah sure who doesn't use precast nowadays like what's the call what's the yeah. need for um a chain lintel and all that all those are not really needed mm -hmm. because like um i say like yeah there was a time you yourself also made a video about precast lintel, which I also made a comment on the video. Mm -hmm. When you use precast, number one, it tends to help you save costs on reinforcements, on the form wall, mm -hmm. and the level aspects. Exactly. What's the work of a lintel? A lintel is just helping you to cover up the void of an opening, like exactly. your door, your windows. So you without running a whole chain lintel, you're adding a load to the building. Load on the structure, So yeah. like, it's not really needed. So you know, I've literally seen where I had this one uh, structural engineer, his site, he used for his lintel, he constructed, uh, he fabricated his lintel with angle lion. Yeah, sure. So, so, he, angle just, lion, so he just yeah. did angle lion like this. And then when the time for the lintel placement came, he just placed it there. So and then the blocks, balance, the blocks yeah. now come on top of so it. So that's just his lintel for him. So lintel is not really so, much of his a yeah, big deal exactly lintel is not really much of a big deal is the, i think the only thing needed to be considered you can use anything for your lintel the only thing we need to consider why using any material for your lintel is like the durability and all that that's just mm -hmm. the only thing you need to consider mm -hmm. if you're using any kind of material mm -hmm. me i can decide to use a plastic material but what's the lifespan of your plastic in buildings that's one of the things i need to check but then like even wood yeah sure wood is also okay a treated yeah. wood don't go and use a two by two you saw in any of Boshishi markets, please. I was not the one that I said you should go for that. You should go for a well treated wood. Can we talk about the various details that you know are not neglected here or shouldn't be neglected? I think uh, it starts with the staircase, yeah, because um, it follows in, in the safety protocol and aspects. Okay. Like okay. now, we have two staircases here. Uh, which one is the main staircase? Why the other one is the 80 staircase? Which are the back of the building uh -huh. in case of fire outbreak and all that. Then we have a lot of doubts because uh, most of the challenges people have in buildings, like at the end of the day, you see someone erecting a structure within a year or two years, you will see some um, that's pipe leakage on their building, which tends to make some spiral gyrus to grow on that building and the building looky tattered and all that. So that was why we considered a duct in each of our bathrooms so I, um anytime you should have an issue like maintenance. yeah maintenance basically. is going to be very much easy just yeah. go there open your doors render the service and all that that's for the doors in the bathrooms that we have then we have a very big service doors which we can use to pass some of our electrical 
stuff, wiring, some mm. of our mechanical works as well. And then um, our fire extinguishers for fire outbreak and all that. So for the floor drain, uh, floor drain is really needed. Like, um, so don't worry, or you, you guys will get to see yeah. so on the floor drains around the building. Yeah. These floor drains we have provided, but you know, definitely you can't really control the weed. And you guys know here in Nigeria, we tend to have more rainy season than the dry season. So when it's raining, you can't really say, ah, water will really come to my balcony and all that. So that was why we created this floor drain. Sometimes you get to clean your building where you need to mop the floors and all that. So this floor drain helps you to make the work easier and water to flow easily to the waste pipe and all that. Yeah. It basically does to drive away. You drive away water, rain. yeah, so yeah. it's be stagnant. Yeah. Exactly. Then also, yeah, we have sleeps which we created Why? We are doing our beam, yeah. Those leaves, yeah. So while we are casting our beam, those leaves tend to help us to pass our electrical wires. That's before we can do our POP. So we can fly them on top and also some of our mechanical works to fly the pipes in. So that's it for the sleeves. There's, um, there's something some professionals call it to say duty of care. So it's yeah. most like and uh, yeah, duty of care, that's the word. And there's another word I want, I was trying to remember. So it's almost like where you, you're, you're thinking about, you're thinking about the future. You're yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah. The future thing that you want to do. So you avoid some certain things like chiseling or breaking. Yeah, breaking. I imagine yeah. if you're going to pass wires, you have to start chiseling, which, which is technically not good. Good for a beauty because the beauty is just like a human being. Beauty moves. Just yeah. like, imagine you, like your body, check out yourself, try to help your body up in the sense you want to get something done. So why not try, like they say, uh, we engineers, we are actually great thinkers because we don't always work with the present, we work with past, present and future. So that's just it. So you be. always walk yeah. ahead in case. Yeah. So yeah, it's easy. Yeah. All right. So can we talk about we we'll talk about the walls, the wall system used, uh, okay. the wall material, the wall system, what type of blocks you used, stuff like that. Okay. The wall system we use um concrete block. Well, yeah. That was what we found this block here. Yeah. And the type of block we use, uh, we use Turkish blocks because most of people see my post and they're like, ah, the block work is really nice. What type of block is this? Actually, we have two kinds of block. We have um, Chinese block and Turkish. So we went with Turkish because uh, we have reasons for going for Turkish because one, like let's say, is giving us a neat work. One, then also when it comes to, it saves cost for us when it comes to spins. Like the quantity of spins you buy while doing working with Chinese block will be much higher while doing with Turkish block and all that and in the sense yeah like this is very easier to use because it just has like a bell of main socket where you can just easily lock it up and yeah. all that so that was why we went for it. We'll, we'll definitely see a quick video of yeah, how sure, that works. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, you, can you help the audience uh, know what a Chinese block is? Okay, um, a Chinese block, like uh, most often, Chinese block are what you guys often see at the site. Um, in the sense, um, Chinese block, how should I explain it? For it basically doesn't have any sockets. Just, no, yeah, it doesn't yeah. have any sockets. Yeah, it's just, just your plain, normal yeah. plane. It's just your normal plane block you see on the side. So that one consumes more mortar. More, yeah, more mortar and all that because you have to chop both vertically and horizontally. horizontally. But when it comes to Turkish, you are just chucking only horizontally. Exactly. You don't chop vertically. I mean, Honestly, why not just go for a Turkish block, right? It's just uh, makes a lot of sense. And it makes the work faster, actually. Yeah, a lot faster. I can see these are apartments. Yeah. So can you give us a breakdown of the type of apartments we have here? Or you have here? Three bedrooms, four bedrooms, two bedrooms. Yeah. And, and how much and how much you'll possibly be going for if you have that if you have an idea. <laughs> Cost. Okay. Actually all of them are three bedroom and first place BQ. Like it's an apartment. Yeah. The BQ. Yeah, the BQ, yeah, sure. So let's say a fully finished uh um that's up price payment is going for about a hundred plus hundred plus F actually. That's so, about hundred million. Yeah. That's if you're buying outright. If you're buying outrightly, yeah. Uh, they have a payment. So you have a payment plan, instrumental payments, uh, six months, yeah, yeah, twelve all months. That, so yeah. it spread. It spread. It spread over twelve months. One year. Yeah, sure. It does okay. actually. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. As you can see, you know, he has given us a well-detailed description of 
this building, the construction process, and and uh, it's quite innovative because a lot of people do not know about most of these things. So I hope you guys learned something today from the foundation system which we learned today. Though he used um, a path foundation, he went down about four meters, five meters thereabout. Um, uh, basically, the structural system used here was mostly uh, frame construction, which is basically just posts and beams, columns and beams and all that. And then the lintels are mostly precast lintels. Walls are mostly Turkish blocks, which, as he described, saves you a lot on mortar, cements, and sand, sharp sand. And time as well. And time and labor too. So, yeah, honestly, it's a good deal and i would advise you probably go for turkish blocks rather than the conventional blocks that we all know um what else so we also talked about the little details that were observed here like the floor drains that were introduced at the balconies which would help to you know um drain any dry uh, drain any rain that comes into the uh, facility so it just basically prevents the building from driving rain basically so these are very important details that we are observed here and also the sleeves that were introduced at the beams which would help to pass um, electrical pipes and all of that so and also he, he mentioned he talked about the ducts uh, for passing the plumbing and the electrical pipes uh, for you know easy maintenance in the future one thing you always have to understand is that in buildings it's not about just building it's about it's about the maintenance. That's what you always have to yeah, consider. Sure. Because everybody has to be buildings. maintained. Like yeah. the human body, definitely wants exactly. to go for checkup. You have to eat, you have to go for health checkups, you have to do exercise and all that. Buildings also have to undergo that that kind of maintenance too. So you always have to consider that when you're building. So as you guys all know, my name is Chim Diajero and uh, i would like you guys to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this on architecture real estate construction and yeah that would really mean a lot to me if you guys do that it would encourage me to make more videos like this and share with you guys so that you know we can all learn about you know innovative stuff about construction and architecture and real estate so um thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye all right, you guys. Take care. Take care. Mm -hmm.